What's up, saviors? GH here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Bennett by introducing him first, then explaining his abilities, what he can do, then recommended weapons and artifact sets, and what main stat and substat you're going to be looking for, and some of my own opinions at the end of the video. And with that said, let's do this. Now, Bennett is a Pyro Swords Master which is a buffer support that can deal decent damage. He can also serve as a secondary DPS due to the fact that he's using a sword which is the best weapon for a basic attacker. Now, Bennett is one of the best attacker buffer and healer of the game. That is how he should be used, an attack buffer and healer. But why though? It's because of his talents. Let's take a look at them. His first talent or elemental skill is called Passion Overload. It can be used in two ways. The first is by quick pressing. It's a sword slash that deals pyro elemental damage and it has a very quick cooldown. The second way is by charging it up. Level 1 charge will result in two sword swipes. Here's an example. Now, level 2 charge results in three sword slash and at the end creates a pyro explosion that throws off Bennett. Now, depending on the level of the charge, the cooldown also lengthens. His next talent is his Elemental Burst and it's called Fantastic Voyage. Now, this is the talent that defines Bennett and also the one that makes him one of the best characters to have on a team. And what it does is make Bennett do a jumping pyro attack that creates a pyro field that will heal anyone standing on the field created by Bennett and also buffs the one standing on the field by increasing the attack of the one that stands on the field by a certain percent depending on the constellation and level of Fantastic Voyage and the base attack of Bennett. Not this attack, this base attack. Let me give you an example. As you see right now, my Bennett has 2300 attack and after using Fantastic Voyage, as you can see, the attack became 2983. It received 683 more attack because that's 70% of Bennett's current base attack. The fantastic voyage of this Bennett is just level 4 that's why it's just 70% and you can increase it more as you level up the talent. Now there's two constellations related to fantastic voyage and the first is grand expectation which basically add 20% more on the attack buff and the other one which is constellation level 6 good luck with that it adds pyro damage bonus to your attacks when you're on the field. His next talent is Rekindle, reduces the cooldown of Passion Overload by 20% and the last talent we're gonna talk about is Fear Not. Basically, when you're stepping on the Fantastic Voyage field, Passion Overload cooldown is reduced by 50% and you don't get thrown away by the explosion. Now, recommended weapons for Bennett. The weapons for Bennett that I recommend is the Skyward Blade, Favonis Sword, Sacrificial Sword, and Aquila Favonia. Mainly because the substat of those weapons is energy recharge except Aquila Favonia. I will explain why those weapons are recommended in the tier list part of the video. Now here is my tier list for the recommended weapons for Bennett and rank 1 is the best. And at rank 1, it's the Sacrificial Sword. Because the substat is energy recharge and the effect can reset your elemental skill. Now at rank 2, it's the Favonia Sword. It's another very good sword for Bennett because it can give you more energy but you gotta have a decent amount of crit which is the reason why I put it in rank 2 cause most likely your Bennett will have a low crit if you follow the artifact build and main stats substat recommendation I will give. Now at rank 3 is the Skyward Blade. Of course it's good because it has energy recharge as the substat. And you get more base attack from this weapon which will enable you to give more attack buff but it's not significant compared to the others. And at rank 4, it's the Aquila Favonia. For the record, you only use this weapon if you don't have the 3 other stated weapons. The only real benefit from this aside from the amazing sword effect is the weapon's base attack which will also affect the amount of attack buff that Bennett's Fantastic Voyage can give. Now, I know all of those are pay to win weapons and by any chance that you don't have any of those, just use the free prototype run core and pray in the future that you get one of those recommended weapons. 
if you have a more specific question on the weapons, just ask in the comment section down below and I will answer as soon as I see it. And if there's a new weapon in the future, any updates will be in the description. And now let's proceed with the recommended artifact sets. My first recommendation is the Noblesse of Lodge. 4 pieces of Noblesse because that 4 piece set increases the damage of your burst and for your buffs, your teammates attack by 20%. Another good set for Bennett is the Maiden Beloved set because Bennett's healing will benefit from the set effect of Maiden's Beloved set. If you're early in the game, the Scholar set or Exile set should be fine for now. Now let's head on to the Artifact Main stat and Sub stat. Of course, we're not gonna talk about the main stat of the Flower of Life artifact because it's HP and so is the Plume of Death because it's always attack. Just make sure your Flower of Life and Plume of Death has a good set of substat. That said, let's start with the substat. You're gonna be looking for Energy Recharge. Always Energy Recharge. Then HP and HP percent. The fourth substat could, could be anything. Or crit rate especially if you're using the Favonius sword. For the main stat of your artifacts, always go for energy recharge. On your sense of Aeon, it should be energy recharge. This must be energy recharge because this is the only artifact main stat that will give you energy recharge. But if you're having trouble, HP% percent will suffice. Then goblets should also be HP% percent, and your circlets should be healing bonus or HP percent. The main stat and sub stat shouldn't be a trouble, but those stats are very common. Now opinion time. Bennett, I believe, is one of the best support character in the game, simply because of the fact that he can heal and increase the attack of our main characters, which can make them deal insane amount of damage while healing at the same time. And that's Bennett. If there's a new weapon and artifact that fits well with Bennett, the updates will be in the description. I hope this video helped and if you like the video, hit the like button, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.